Ah, okay, cool. That was the um, end of the uh, the DLC. Um, you know, uh, I guess I'll go over. Uh, I thought I thought this wasn't bad. I didn't pay a whole lot, so it's fine. I know I keep going over the money, but it, to me, it really is a matter of that, like um, dollars per hour, basically. I compare games like that. I disagree with the sixty dollar price point. You know, I played. Team Fortress 2 for a thousand hours, and I paid like, uh, well, I got that in the orange box, which was 50 bucks, uh, I think. And plus, I got like Half Life 2 and a whole bunch of other stuff. But you know, if I'm gonna play like a single player game, you know, it either has to be like really, really well done, it, it, that's what you're paying for, obviously. Um, and so, there was obviously, um, I, there was a few problems with animation, I could clearly tell, like, I know, we're looking at animation, so I, th I thought I'd mention that. The guy's responsible for this atrocity. Nah, just joking. Uh, like, the, the characters bob their heads too fast. I actually thought there was some sort of glitch in my game. Because uh, I watched the first cutscene before um, I recorded. And, uh, like, I was just seeing if the game was working. And I, I played, like, the first uh, couple of minutes just to, just to get the uh, hang of it. But, uh, it, yeah, it was a blind run. I didn't really know what I was doing uh, throughout it. Uh, sorry, but anyways, uh, but yeah, no, I had to go look up someone else's video to see if that's the way the animations were supposed to look, because it, this is, this looks a lot very different, I'm, I have a feeling that the people who made this, uh, are very, uh, are definitely not the same people who made, uh, the, uh, other game, and I'm looking at this actually right now, and that would actually make sense, because that, this is a much smaller credits list, like, it's only, like, one person who does art direction presentation stuff, so yeah, I'm guessing, these guys are, uh, they don't have as the, the main talent from the uh, from the uh, the team who did the actual game. I don't know. They were, it was like maybe two separate teams. Who honestly knows? It's it's a it's a good question. Uh, but you know, as I said, I, I f it's still fifteen dollars right now, which I don't really understand why, because the game has been out for a while. Actually, um, Human Revolution itself is 30 bucks, and if you haven't picked it up already, go go do that right now, because it was, it was fantastic. But this, for some reason, I would wait on a sale or something, because uh, it's not worth 15 especially with the price point of the actual game itself being much lower than it is. Uh, like it's, it, this is basically half the price, but definitely not half the content kind of thing. It's much, it's, it's maybe like a third, a fourth, I'd say of, well, not even, actually, maybe lower uh, than, than the Human Revolution game. Um, but, you know, as I said, with the amount I paid, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. It was pretty fun. Uh, did, did miss a couple things, so it's it's worth another playthrough to go through it. Oh, I, I really hope that they continue doing stuff with uh, the Deus Ex uh, universe, because I've always really liked it. And this is this was an excellent, like, the, well, the entire series was, like, an excellent reboot. So I'd, I'd most definitely like to see see them doing more with it. Uh, it'd be a lot of a lot of fun to to see. Um, although the endings obviously weren't that great. Uh, the ending in this one is obviously they took a more linear approach, obviously because you have to get onto the cargo ship no matter what. They did have that choice between killing scientists and killing. I don't know what happens when you kill the prisoners. I don't know. I'll, I'll figure that out some other time. How how everything changes. I, I didn't know how many, you were killing like hundreds of people. That was, that was my bad. <laughs> what 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 else can I do? Um, yeah, this is this is nice, sweet, and short. Uh, I guess I'm assuming I fit it all into this week. Maybe not. Uh, you know, it's it's whatever whatever I managed to fit it into. So I, I just wanted to do something small, and I, I managed to do that. Um, I guess there's not much more I, could, I have to say about this itself. It's these. Okay, they have the. They don't have this DLC in the back. They have the, the another poster, or whatever. I know. I, you know what? I've always I've always universally found that uh, DLC packages always give a lot less hours uh, than the the actual product, the final product itself. Like it's like you know, if if you get a ten dollar map pack, then it. It honestly isn't priced right because you're paying sixty dollars for a game, a single player. I don't even think sixty dollars is right. I, I'm always used to fifty because they did that stupid thing where they, they're they're pocketing the extra ten bucks because oh why are the PC people getting games for ten dollars cheaper? But anyways, um, uh, you know, 
based upon what I paid for the original game. Uh, you know, that, that's that's what I judge it based upon. You know, like quality and stuff. So, if 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 you're making it, if you're making it ten bucks and I paid fifty bucks, it better be one fifth of the game. You know, that's uh, right. I'm actually doing hand motions right now to hit my mouse. Um, it, yeah, it better be one fifth of the game. Uh, basically, is what I should feel I got out of it. And uh, I think I think I did for the most part. Although the price is now too high. Um, it probably would have been better priced at ten. Uh, and then now it should be like probably like five or something, but whatever. Anyways, I, I've done it. Uh, it was it was decent. It was good. I'm happy with it. Uh, and uh, I uh, yep. Let's see. I, let's hope we do uh, Deus Ex Robot Revolution or some other crap in the future. I'm hoping. It's Square Enix, man. Uh, they're the ones who did the cutscenes for for these games, and they. Um, they do a good job, although it's really not like that. They, they are really not on the level of uh, something like, I guess, Pixar or Blizzard or something. Um, that is something I've noticed because there is a noticeable like when, whenever we go into the cutscenes, it seems more of something to do with process, processing power because they have like cityscapes and stuff. Like the characters and the models do look noticeably better, but it's one of those things where um, I, I don't I don't really feel that it's it was like a, it's a major leap opposed to other cutscenes uh, developed by other other people. I don't I'm not much of a, a huge Final Fantasy fan, so I don't really know what the hell they do for that for those cutscenes. You know, people people go crazy over those. I know um, I don't really care because I'm not much of a, a guy who plays games for story. I play it more for gameplay. And, I, and you know what? Actually, um, speaking about gameplay, I, I actually had a lot of fun uh, doing like an all-out lethal run, like just just straight off the bat, go for the Ogs that are going to help me, and like literally be denied out of hacking computers, opening saves and stuff. Because you know, I I have actually done that a lot because I did do that in my past with run, so I wasn't really uh, too much into to doing more of that. But um. I was I was actually really happy. Uh, I, I, that was a lot of fun. That 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 playstyle is completely compatible. It just I, you know it did limit my options, but it's it's weird to describe it. It's like I felt like it was kind of cool, in a way, because I I felt better in combat, but I felt worse in you know in just st sneaking around, which is how it should be. And yeah, it's it's a feeling of choice which I rarely ever see. Uh, and it made me smile a bit, actually, because I'm just like, uh, I'm just playing, I'm just playing all out, just kill everything. But you know, the next time I'll play this, I'm probably going to do it more stealthy. You know, I'm probably going to go for the Ogs and all that kind of uh, garbage. And so, you know, I, I think that's, I think that's really cool. Um, I, and I, I'm, I'm glad to see it executed so well, uh, even, even in DLC. It's just, I'm still probably talking about the main game because I don't think, I don't recall my first run of the game too well, but I think I did half and half. I went into hacking straight away, kind of just so I could open the doors, so I didn't feel like I was missing any any cool items or anything, and then kind of went in, and, but I was shooting things the entire time. Like, I was doing stealth as well. Sort of. Uh, well, sorry, I was doing combat as well, sort of, but I missed out on um, things like that EMP upgrade, which would have done me so well if I had gotten that early on. Because that one, that one is like useful all throughout the game. It's just, it's, it's sad actually. Uh, like it's, I, I swear to God, the next time I play uh, the single player of the first game, uh, the Human Revolution game, I'm gonna just do. I'm, I'm gonna go right away and and do that that stupid ener uh, electricity upgrade because it's just like, it's it, it's useful in two of the bosses. Uh, it's useful to get around things. Uh, you know, it's just it's just good overall and then you're not affected by EMP which is like a great benefit and opposed and all the other augmentations none of them are nearly as like let's say useful so it's like it's uh it's much better that way moderators uh they must be talking about their forums or something I don't know or some of them look like IRC name uh, whatever well uh thank you I guess for watching as well. Hope you, just, you know, hope you stick around. Cause we're, okay, I, I seriously hope you are just getting started because that was that was good, uh, and I want to see more. I really do. You know, just don't make me backtrack ever again.
<laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.